Hello everyone, this is SoTech Jeff in Grand Junction, Colorado. Today we're going to show you how to oil your Janomis. Did you know there's a wick in below the bobbin and the bobbin holder that needs to be saturated with oil about every month or so? If you haven't, I'm going to show you how to do that. Also, don't ever pull it out thinking it's uh, de you know lint and stuff. That is a uh, uh, felt wick that helps oil underneath there. So every month or so, I would open up the bobbin door and take the bobbin out. And if you look inside here, there's a hole that goes all the way down inside and it kind of keeps going downward. It's the hole you can see right here. So that hole needs to have oil in it to the top of the wick. This keeps you from having to take the screws out or take the plate off, you know, every month or so just to oil it. Janome has added that hole to the bobbin basket or bobbin holder, and you can get right to that. So it's important to oil that. And while I have it out, I'm going to rotate my needle bar down and just put a little drip of oil near the top of that needle bar. It can't hurt. That's my philosophy on that. So then you could just put your bobbin in and sew. But every three or four months, if you're a heavy sewist, you're going to need to take the lint out from below this bobbin holder. So a lot of Janomis have screws. So they make this little screwdriver set. It's a lot easier than the tool they give you. So you would take the straight blade guy and the little stubbies. So you could just take the screws out with this. This particular model is nice because it has a lever here on the side. So I push it and the whole plate comes off. No screws. I'm going to remove the foot just to make it easier for you to see. And this black unit here is called the bobbin holder, bobbin basket, and it lifts right out. So it's got a cutout toward the place where it goes in and a circle around the back. It has a little mark, so it marks up to where you can line it up. And if you look real closely, you can actually see the oil I put in here, the wick. So this, there's the wick right down the middle of that uh, inner hook. And what I do is I take a brush, and I brush this out every two to three months. Um, I've had machines come in that haven't been maintained in a while, and the stitch quality is terrible. It's, globbing up all the play all the time. There was enough lint in here that uh, you could put it in the top of an aspirin bottle. It was just, it was solid. The threads couldn't pass underneath there. Uh, so it's important. That's, the lint comes from your thread and some of your fabric. Now, we need to reassemble. And this is where I see a lot of people make an error. So what you want to do is if you look at this, uh, guy turning here, it's got a real sharp point. Put that the furthest away from you. So put the point or the hook away from you. Now put the cutout in first. Angle it in at about 35 or 40 degrees. And then what you want to do is right here, there's a dot and an arrow. You want to line those two up. And it's got to wiggle just a little bit. If it doesn't wiggle, it will not sew. The thread actually has to pass through right where this tweezers is. Oh, by the way, I sell these tweezers on my Shopify account, one of my best-selling items. They're only $4.99, and you can't live without them. So with this one, I'm just going to line it up in here, and it pushes back down with pressure. And put your bobbin in. The other th thing I see a lot is oh, you lose your bobbin. No. <laughs> where did my bobbin go? So. See if I can't find another. We put our bobbin in, we put our cover back on, and then to put your foot on, just line it up, lower, lower your foot onto there. So here is a bobbin basket from a baby lock, and they have a, a dot and an arrow, a triangle, that needs to be lined up when you put it in. So if you had a baby lock, this is how you would line it up. Now it's kind of important to oil too. Um, if you keep this cleaned and oiled, and on a lot of Janomis, the head opens up over here, and you can 
dust it out and even oil in there. So they give you a lot of opportunities to keep it uh, running smooth and quiet. So this has been SoTech Jeff. I hope this helps you out on your drop-in bobbin uh, cleaning and oiling. And you can get my products at bernina-jeff.myshopify.com or you can call the shop at 970-256-1293 or email me at jpvlefty at aol.com. Thanks very much and thanks for watching.